So, do you like my title? This is the best, yummy, easy rice recipe that I have for you. Rice is one of the main foundations of many kitchens in the world, um, especially in the Mexican kitchen. It's very close to the beans. You most likely will see it in as a companion in many, many, many dishes. So I want to uh, treat you with two recipes. Um, one, there's a hundred ways of cooking rice. I'm gonna show you the main one, uh, the base one, which is a white rice recipe. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying white rice. I mean, I know it sounds redundant, but um, it's just the very basic ingredients for the most basic recipe that you wanna cook. If you wanna learn how to cook one recipe, cook the white uh, rice recipe. And then I'm gonna show you one that has turmeric. It has a bright yellow color that you wanna love. So I'm going to uh, give you both recipes and I'm so excited about it. So let's go get the ingredients. We're gonna need chicken broth. You can also use chicken stock, but I find that chicken broth is more flavorful. You can also use water, but why should you? When well, you can use this. Uh, I wanted to talk about something important when cooking rice. Um, I'm sure you know that there's different kinds of rice. Um, my preferred one is long grain rice, A any kind. The, the most common uh, one is the long grain, the American kind. Uh, but I love the basmati rice or the jasmine rice because they have more taste than the traditional long American uh, rice. Also, uh, I love it because it takes less time cooking. In 15 minutes, it's pretty much done. Plus the resting time, um, they also have less starch uh, because I love the rice to uh, loose, to loosen up, to, fl to fluff it up. Uh, that's my preference. It also, uh, it takes less liquid. It's a, a cup and a half. It's usually the ratio for rice is two to one, two cups of liquid, one cup of rice. But with this particular one, it's less. Of course, if you're adding vegetables and other things, you know, th that may vary uh, a little bit depending on how the moisture of those vegetables. Now, um, the short grain rice, like the arborio, like the sushi rice, like the Thai rice, like the paella rice, um, that takes longer time. It's also good. It's also delicious, but again, it's about your preference and the dish that you are planning to cook. So of course, if it's paella, you definitely need that long range, long range rice because you need that starch. You need to, for it to stick together, right? To be creamy for, uh, um, when you're doing uh, paella and things like that. Now, the other thing is whether you want to use a lid or cook it uncovered. If you're going to cook it not cover, then you're gonna need more water. I really don't have the ratio because that's not the method I use. Nevertheless, the flavor is going to be the same, but it just takes a longer time as you add more liquid. And uh, it's whatever you prefer. For practical reasons, I use a lid, I cover my rice, and I use long grain rice. These are the ingredients for the basic white rice. We're gonna start with a cup of rice, one and a half cups of chicken broth. You can use homemade chicken broth. I actually have some frozen, but I was just too eager to wait. We um, are going to need a half of 
uh, small medium onion and uh, one large clove of uh, garlic or two mediums um, salt it's about a teaspoon of salt and of course uh, oil like about a tablespoon a table a tablespoon and a half of canola oil you can use uh, any other oil that you like but again um, canola oil is my uh, go-to oil because it doesn't add any additional flavor now carrots and corn it's optional just because I just don't like to eat plain things I always uh, love color so I will add it if you want to do the basic uh, rice recipe you can stick to those first ingredients and then leave this out. We're gonna blend a half medium onion, garlic, chicken broth, one and a half. If you're using short grain rice, you're gonna need two cups of whatever liquid you choose, water or chicken broth. Let's blend. At medium heat, we're going to saute the rice. For about a minute. Oops. Not even a minute, it was too hot actually. Oops, let me lower that. the heat. It's going to turn op opaque. I sometimes, I sometimes like to add bell pepper because it gives it a really good taste. I didn't have any, but regardless, it's going to taste amazing. If you're adding any vegetable, this is the time to do it. As you can see, it's turning opaque. This is good enough. Adding the, we're adding the chicken broth. Teaspoon of salt. Don't stir it a lot because that releases uh, starch and uh, it will get all uh, mushy. So here it is. I am not going to uncover it, okay, from this point forward. It's gonna stay like that. And once it starts uh, boiling, I'm going to lower the heat to simmer. It's been 15 minutes, so I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so for the next 10 minutes, it's gonna finish cooking. It is crucial to let it rest for 10 minutes. Do not lift up that lid. For no reason, lift up that lid. It's crucial to stay like that. My family knows that if they lift up the lid, they'll get in trouble. You'll be disowned if you're my child and come to my stove and lift up that lid. That's why I bought clear glass, clear glass lids, because if you wanna know what's cooking, you can look and see what it is, okay? I can even defriend you if you're one of my very best friends 
and come to my stove and lift that, that lid, okay? My rice is a very good rice and that's one of the things that makes a difference. So, and here it is. Look at this beauty. Now we need to fluff it up. Add some corn. Look, nice, fluffy. It has a couple of clumps, but they will dissolve. It's delicious. For turmeric rice, it's pretty much the same ingredients, uh, plus a couple of other more. Um, we're gonna include turmeric, a tablespoon, half onion, two garlic, a cup and a half of uh, chicken broth, a cup of uh, long grain rice, a tablespoon of salt, a couple of tablespoons of uh, canola oil, an optional uh, piece and red bell pepper and uh, corn. It's optional. I have a couple of pieces of celery. They're kind of sad and I'm sorry they're not the best. Uh, you always try to, I always try to have the best ingredients, but then you're missing one. I'm gonna add the rice. Sauteing the rice for a minute. Okay. This is a good time to add. I have red bell pepper. So stay for a minute. I'm gonna add the turmeric. Saying the spice releases uh, the taste of it. It just adds a punch to the spices. This is a good time to add the chicken uh, broth, the mixture of onion, garlic, and chicken broth. And the salt. Don't stir it a lot. You don't want to be releasing those starches. You want this rice nice and loose. We're gonna cover. We're gonna lower to simmer. It's gonna cook in 15 minutes. Don't touch this lid. And here it is. Now we need to fluff it up. Let's fluff it up. I like to add raw celery because I love the crunch. Green peas. It's okay if they're frozen. They're, these are a bit frozen, but that's okay. Look at this. I love textures and colors in my food. It's not gonna be mushy. You can fluff it up with confidence.
Look at this. Let's taste it. Looks nice and fluffy. really good it's really good really delicious it's um it's perfect it's not undercooked it's loose just how i like it i like to uh, cook uh white rice as a companion to um for other dishes that have uh more flavor because i don't want uh when I'm when my dishes, I, I don't want them to compete into each other. I want them to complement each other. And I think the white rice is a great complement to many, many, many dishes. And um, so now let's try to marry one. Look at this. Look at this color. So good. Using turmeric in um, rice, I, um, I see it a lot in, in Asian cooking and um, and also in uh, Middle Eastern cooking, actually in Indian cooking as well. So it's it's very common in, in many, many countries. I don't know how to describe the taste of turmeric. I wish I could. Mm. It has a distinct mild taste, but the visual part, wow, it's a hit. Mm. Yep. Here they are, two for one, try it, enjoy it.